欢迎您收听爱家网教育生活节目。爱家网是一个服务华人家庭的新媒体，我们不定期的邀请各个领域的生活达人，分享他们的专业知识和生活经验，帮助华人家庭更好的融入美国社会。我们也十分欢迎在自己的领域中有所建树的朋友们自荐，成为爱家网下期节目的嘉宾。欢迎大家关注“爱家网”公众号“北美爱家”，获得下期节目信息。下面，请您收听今天的主题节目。大家好，欢迎大家收听第六十一期“爱家网”教育生活节目。今天我们请来了 Tomo Hero Mori， 和大家介绍学习打击乐的科普知识。首先，介绍一下今天的嘉宾。Tomo Hero 来自于日本，是一名青年打击乐演奏家。Tomo 毕业于著名的伯克利音乐学院，专业就是打击乐演奏。不少华人家庭的孩子在学习钢琴、小提琴这类比较常见的乐器，而架子鼓学习的人并不多。很多家长们对这项乐器的了解也不是很全面，所以今天我们就请来了 Tomo 为大家介绍相关的知识。在请出 Tomo 老师之前，让我们一起听一听他和自己的乐队发布的一首单曲。Don't say goodbye. 其中的夹子鼓部分由 Tomo 演奏。Let's pretend we will be in love to the end. A love forevermore, love that won't fade or die. Your kiss is so sweet, our love so unique. I'll miss everything, my love, my love. Hi, Tomo. Welcome、yeah. to the show. Can you say hello to our audience and give a brief self-introduction? My name is Tomohiro Mori,、uh, originally from、uh, Fukuoka, Japan. It's pretty close from China, actually. I always、uh, go to China first, then go back to my hometown、uh, when I、uh, go to the Japan. The transfer. Yeah, transfer.、Back. I was born in 1992.、Mm-hmm. I started、uh, playing the drums、uh, at three years old. And, three、uh, years ago. Yeah, it's not three years old. Oh, three when you're three years、yeah. old, so that when means you started、like、drumming. I, yeah, that means I have played、uh, the drums like、uh, around twenty-five、uh, years. It's、wow. a long time. And I also like、uh, started、uh, the piano、uh, at five years old. My parents were like musician. They're musicians. I mean, not professional musician. They are teacher. They had a band like a Beatles cover. Beatles cover band. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I started、uh, go to go to、uh, going to school,、mm-hmm. music school, music school. Got around like six. Six. Okay. Yeah, and、uh, I learned、uh, like a mu- like a sheet how how to how to read music.、Uh, yeah,、scene. music sheet. Yeah. You know, kind of like a theory thing.、Mm-hmm. After my high school.、Mm-hmm. I I came here. I came to the U.S. Our first place was in Boston,、oh. uh, Berkeley College of Music. Got it. Like I learned like a, many styles, you know,、okay. like Latin music, Brazilian, you、mm-hmm. know, some like ethnic thing. All、And、kinds all, of all kinds of drumming. Yeah, like a rock drumming, funk drumming, also, and and、uh, composing. Okay. I have perfect pitch because、uh, I, you know, I, I have played the piano. I see. As you mentioned a little bit about this, how you got into music. Your parents have the music background. You started picking up drumming at three years old.、Uh-huh. Is there a particular something happened that you got into drumming? Do you remember anything about that? Other instruments、mm-hmm. have、uh, like a do re mi fa sol la ti do. Right. And like harmony. Yes. A little bit hard for like kids.、Mm. But、uh, drums is like kind of like, easy for first. First step, just the、mm. hit、yeah. and sound. And kids love to hit things, right? <laughs> yeah, you know. Especially young age. You know, it's catchy. Yes.、Mm-hmm. You know, it's pretty simple, right? Right. 
So that's why that's why I I picked drums. I see. So I see. It's great for younger kids yeah, to start right. because it's fun, right? And you don't have to worry about a lot of skillful mm -hmm. training mm -hmm. just to get the right tune or that. And you mentioned you started learning piano at five years old. How many years did you learn piano? It's almost like ten years. I oh, stopped okay. uh, like around uh, fifteen or sixteen. I see. So why drumming? So I, I understand for younger kids, mm -hmm. it's it, it's easy. Uh, it's more fun. Yeah. But when you grow older, why are you attached to drums? Drumming is uh, like it's like the same thing, like eating, mm -hmm. the brushing, the <laughs> tooth. Mm -hmm. The three being, that's the same thing, the same quality to me. Mm. It becomes part of your life, your right, daily right. routine. Right, right, it's a part of my life. You actually. don't live without it anymore. No. I see. When did you have that realization? That is, is a certain age you started feeling like that? Around like a 12 or something. Uh, okay. Like when I, when I gradu graduate uh, elementary school. Mm. And uh, I wrote uh, like some essay. Mm -hmm. for uh, graduation mm -hmm. and uh, I, I wrote about my dream mm. so I, wa I, I want to be uh, like, like you know like I, I want to be a drummer I really hope uh, my music make people happy mm. I think but, around, around the 12 okay so by writing that essay and after playing so many years you have this realization that it's part of your life that's what you want to pursue mm -hmm. for the rest of your life yeah right, right. Cool. thank you for sharing that so comparing to other instruments, so what mm -hmm. are the, some of the pros and cons for playing drums? Drums is the most catchy mm. instrument. Okay, it's very catchy. For, for, for first step, somebody can play like a basic groove and uh, can play a song in first lesson. Mm. It's like a bike. Okay. You know, nobody knows how to ride a bike first. If we can ride like once, mm -hmm. so it can you know, work like uh, forever, right? Mm, yeah, you, so. you don't forget. <laughs> cool, that's a, that's a great reason to, yeah. <laughs> to pick up drums, I think. Mm -hmm. And actually a lot of people are actually very interested in drums mm -hmm. and they don't have uh, enough resources. Some of the people may have piano or guitar at home, but you, you don't see as many people have drum mm -hmm. sets at home. Mm -hmm. uh, as you explained, it's very easy to, to get up, to, yeah. to start playing with it. So it's something to consider. If somebody wants to start learning drum, what kind of drum okay. they should get? It. You know, like a Yamaha a classic. Yamaha. Yamaha. Okay. It's a Paul. Is it five pieces? Yeah, five, five piece pieces, drum like a set. basic. Yeah. Okay. And a Sonar, a Canops, the mm -hmm. Japanese brand. We can get acoustic drums like from like 400 to 500. 400, 500 dollars. It's good quality for beginner. Okay, that's great. For younger kids who begin to start learning drumming, do they use a standard size drum set or they use a smaller size? I recommend uh, standard. Okay. They should be able to handle it, right? Right. Okay. Have you seen are there boys more interested in drumming or girls more interested in drumming or do you see anything different in that area? I can see like, a boys. Boys more? Yeah. Active, yeah. Boys more. Because they're more aggressive, they more right. active? Right, right. Okay. And, uh, because uh, drums is like a physical instrument. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about a little bit about the study materials. Mm -hmm. What type of materials do you use to teach uh, drumming? First of all, like, really simple. Mm -hmm. Just like a uh, basic groove first and mm -hmm. some like patterns mm -hmm. with a uh, basic groove. Okay. And uh, then uh, play so, a song. Okay. So you don't really use any particular material. You use some of the, just teach them some of the pattern. Uh, that's it. Right? No. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, just like a, a simple thing. Okay. Just a hit force. Okay. The groove. Got it. It's a bike, you know. Okay. So you just explain the pattern and have them to reproduce that pattern. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. And uh, sometimes I use like a book. You know, sometimes like I uh, use like a music chart mm. for drums. Okay. But uh, it's it's pretty like a later. Six months oh, six later months. or a, a year later. Then you start picking up some of the books or yeah. materials. Got it. Well, can you tell us what exactly is going to be taught in this like, drum lesson? You mentioned a little bit about pattern, playing a song. Can you walk through as a typical drum lesson in the beginning? What exactly was going on in that class? Mm. Song first. Mm -hmm. So we start with songs. Yeah. What type of songs? It's, it's a basic uh, like a rock song, it's mm -hmm. a basic groove. 
That's right. Yeah, it's really simple. simple. Like a four four. Okay, four four, four, beat. four yeah. beat. Okay. Yeah. So you do you play the song in the background and have the kid to follow the music? Or? I want them to sing. Oh, okay. Sing the melody. Okay. And then like uh, playing the groove so and they, uh, combine. So they sing and they play the rhythm at the same time? Yeah. Okay, got it. In the first step, sing. Okay. Second step, just, just playing the drums. Mm -hmm. Third is like a, a com combination. Yeah, that actually remind me one of the musicians, the, the song Hotel California. The singer is actually the, the drummer. Oh yeah? I didn't realize before I, I listened to, the, to right. the CD, but when I watched the video, I, I realized he's actually playing the drum and singing at the same time. He's the lead singer. You mentioned about a little bit about the music sheet. Typical music sheet is for piano, but for drum, is that the same thing? But it's also the same kind of music sheet where you have a special note. Drummers have uh, like a two kinds of seat. One is okay. uh, the drum seat. Okay, so like it's a very specific. Right, like just a, yeah, drum. it's a specific. They you know, tell you this is the thing you need to hit. This part for like a hi hat, snare hi -hat. drum, and a bass drum. It's a, that's a drum seat. And Got the it. other uh, is a, just like a, you know, like a melody and harmony mm. and like something, like ju just a hit, mm. you know, like especially like a jazz stuff. Okay. We can see the, you know. But just it doesn't tell you, do, is that the scenario on a hit or? Uh, no, just like, a, really, hit, it just just like a, a simple hit. for like a bands. Got it. You know, okay. That's like a two kinds of. Okay, so stuff. you have to come up what exactly you want to hit when you see that kind of music sheet. Mm hmm so when is each different sheet in introduced that? I started uh, running as a it's like a first one. Okay, the drum sheet, drum sheet. first. Yeah, drum okay. sheet first. Is it correct that to say that uh, as a drummer you don't really need to learn the music sheet, the, the standard piano music sheet? Don't need for really beginning. Okay, okay. Yeah. But when later on when you play with other instruments and they play, yeah, that's, yeah. that's when you need to. It's gonna be like a helpful. Got it. Got it. Cool, thanks. How important is it to, for the kid to learn the drum to learn another instrument? Is it okay just to learn the drum and don't 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 bother with other instruments? I told you I ha I have played the piano. Right. Piano is also like string yeah. instrument and also, it's also percussion. Hammers, right. <laughs> you know. Right. Because uh, just a like hit. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the right. same thing. When I have played the piano, like I play the piano like drums sometimes. But uh, learning another instrument would help but not absolutely necessary. It's really, really, really helpful. It's helpful, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. like a final goal playing music. Mm, okay. Not just drums, like playing music. For the beginners, mm -hmm. uh, how much time beginners should practice each day? As long as, uh, you know, they can, but 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, it's going to be like helpful. Like a play every day. Okay, but every day is important. Yeah. Okay. Even ten minutes. Okay. For the kids who started drumming, what are the things parents can do? Uh, should they attend the class? Uh, try to learn a drum themselves. You know, depends on students' character. I recommend that parents don't push uh, uh, push kids okay. to play the drums. From my background, my parents try to teach me. But I, I didn't hear that. Right. So, and then my parents, all right, so just like, uh, whatever you want. If mm. you want to play, all right, you can, you can do it. And uh, if you don't want to play, that's okay. They didn't push you? No. Yeah. So don't push kids too much. Uh, no. That's what parents can do it for at least. Right, right. <laughs> okay. But what things they, they can do to help kids at, mm -hmm. that, at that stage? So kids should think by the, themselves. Mm. Give them enough space and room for them to think on their own, yeah. come up with their own ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for the advice. For the beginners, what are the common difficulties? So, you know, we have like a, you know, two hands and a two foot. Okay. It's combined. All right. It's pretty hard, like a messed up. Yeah, the coordination, right? Yeah, and the pay attention, everything. Yes. That's a hard, hard It's I like driving the car. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Both driving car and, and uh, you know, riding a bike. Yes. You yes. know. Everything so, has to come together. Yeah, it's, it's really hard. Actually. So, so that's the coordination is a hard part. Is, is there advice you can give to help people go through, go through that? Pray one by one, step by step. 
Okay. You know. You mean one like one hand at a time? Yeah, yeah, like right, each, right. Each hand. You know, okay. just the hand, speech? just the one part, just, just a snare drum okay. first. Okay. And the uh, hi hat. Okay. The bass drum, the three parts. Okay. Like first, first of like a uh, one part. Okay. And uh, two parts. Okay. Then like uh, for everything. Got it. So one by one. There are two things that a lot of parents are concerned with. One is the drumming normally very loud. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna hurt their ears? Wearing uh, ear parts okay. is good for uh, kids. So it really shouldn't be too much of a concern for younger kids because they don't have the strength to hit the drum so loudly. Mm -hmm. yet. If uh, they go into a band, uh, drummers normally sit in the behind. Mm -hmm. uh, they're the guitarist, the singer, they're all in front. Yeah. For drummer, they're always behind. Do you feel as a drummer, you, you don't get enough attention? I, I don't think so, because the mm. drums is the most powerful instrument and the most loud instrument. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's why, that's why behind. You know? <laughs> True. You know, kind of like a conductor. Some of the parents think, if my kids play drums, they may get aggressive. Mm -hmm. is, uh, what, what are your thoughts on, on that? You know, aggressive, sometimes aggressive is good. Mm. You know, for yeah. like a energy, like a passion yeah. to music. Yeah. Like, like always I say, like, what do you want to play? Comparing to aggressiveness, I think most more important is bringing the passion out of the kid. Through drumming, they can bring their passion out, they can fully express themselves. Uh -huh. That's great. Finally, we reached the end of the interview. Is there any particular book, a piece of music, or a movie, or any a person who inspired you that you, you'd like to share with the audience? When I was a kid, I, I was like really into um, Beatles. Beatles, yeah. Because yeah. your parents are yeah, in a right. Beatles cover band. Yeah. Beatles and the Queen, you know, like classic rock style. Yes. And, uh, but the movie, I really uh, liked to watch uh, a movie called uh, Drum Line. L I N E. Just a line. A line. Oh, Drum Line. <laughs> drum Line. N E. Drum Line. So about like a uh, courage. Uh, marching band or something. Okay. We can see uh, rudiments, like a basic drum skill mm -hmm. from the movie. Mm -hmm. So it's a fun movie? Yeah, fun, fun movie, something like comedy okay. side. It's also comedy? Yeah, and the lab, and that was like a music side. It's and it's also great. about drumming? Yeah. Cool. So I guess for beginners, they can watch this movie to get more ideas about drumming. Right, right. 非常感谢Tomo老师的精彩分享。希望今天的节目对各位家长朋友们有所启发。同盟老师目前在友诚音乐工作室担任家子鼓教学，有兴趣和他学习的学生们，请联络友诚音乐工作室。微信上的朋友们也欢迎扫码加入友诠音乐咨询群，咨询相关的课程。友诚音乐工作